In this video, we'll make a smiley face pancake cutter. First draw a circle. Then draw a second circle inside it. Now draw an eye also with the circle tool and use the scale tool to warp it. Copy it with Move and Control. Now use the Circle tool again to make the mouth. We'll cut away the part we don't need by making a line to break the faces and then erasing those parts. Delete this face. And push-pull everything else up. Inference match the eyes and mouth to the edge. Now we have to draw some bars to hold all these parts together. To do this, make a cube. Group it then place it about where you want the bars to be. I'm going to put this on parallel projection mode to make it easier to work with. We'll need some bars at the bottom, so I'm copying this cube for those bars. Draw a circle near the bottom of the cube. And then push-pull it through the whole cutter. Do the same to hold the mouth to the edge. First let's rotate this because our bar needs to be angled. Then draw the bar the same way. You know, I think I'll just copy and flip that first bar and delete this cube. So copy it again with move and control and then flip it along the red axes. Then move it into place. Some of the intersecting geometry is not truly intersecting. So we're going to use the intersect with model function to fix that. Select, right click, choose intersect with model, and now we have an intersection. Do that here too. Do that everywhere it's needed. 
Once all the parts are properly intersecting, you can delete the cube and the extra part of the bar. As you delete these circles, make sure they're not taking any planes with them. So orbit around, and if you're missing planes, you'll need to trace a line to redraw them. And here it is. Let's scale it now. Four inches would be a good size. So I'll type four. And now it has a diameter of four inches. Let's check the height. It's a little above half an inch. That's a bit tall. We can adjust it down some. Now group it, and let's run some tools on it to make it a solid group. First we'll run cleanup, and that has found some things to clean up. Then run solid inspector, and that found things too. Looks like it got rid of one of the bars in the process, so I'll have to go back and redo that. But as you can see, it's a solid group right now, hence ready for 3D printing. The supports came off with the raft. <laughs> 